I wanted to come before you today with a short message on Juneteenth. Uh, in 2013, uh, scholars discovered a poem uh, called An Essay on Slavery. It was written by Jupiter Hammond. Jupiter Hammond was born in 1711 as a slave. To, uh, he was owned by the Lloyd family of Queens, uh, Long Island in New York. Uh, and actually they uh, both uh, Christianized him and uh, provided schooling for him. He was, uh, his poetry is known uh, and he began uh, to publish poems or his poems were published beginning in 1760. What is so uh, tragic about uh, an essay on slavery is uh, both as you read it, you begin to realize the oppression uh, that uh, Jupiter Hammond experienced both by receiving the gift of the gospel of Jesus Christ through Christianity on the one hand and scholarship, the ability to read and write on the other, but then uh, to be imprisoned, to be owned by the Lloyd family, to be bound to them in the institution of slavery uh, and the tragic, uh, tragic irony uh, of, of this uh, situation. And the poem itself, uh, Essay on Slavery, is a heart-wrenching poem, uh, but it ends with great hope. Uh, and so on this Juneteenth, as we remember the Emancipation Proclamation read out on Galveston Island, uh, proclaiming uh, for the first time uh, to slaves uh, in, in Texas uh, that they had been freed, uh, we uh, might remember Jupiter Hammond's hope uh, at the end of his his poetry. This, this is what he wrote. When shall we hear the joyful sound echo the Christian shore? Each humble voice with songs resound that slavery is no more. Then shall we rejoice and sing loud praises to our God. Some sweet Jesus have come, sweet Jesus, heavenly King, the art, the Son, our Lord. We are thy children, blessed Lord, though still in slavery. We'll seek thy precepts, love thy word until the day we die. Come, blessed Jesus, hear us now and teach our hearts to pray and seek the Lord to whom we bow before tribunal day. Now glory be unto our God, all praise be justly given. Come seek his precepts, love his works. That is the way to heaven. Jupiter Hammond wrote that on November 10th, 1786. On this day, we remember the hope that, uh, that captured, that, in, that people heard in the words of the Emancipation Proclamation. We remember Juneteenth. We remember how that echoed from the shores of Galveston Island across the south uh, and how the, uh, the humble must have sung in that moment a hope that believed that something had ended and, and something good and, uh, and glorious had taken its place. Today, after weeks of protests, after uh, the killing, uh, the vigilante deaths and the killing of George Floyd uh, by a police officer, one among many in this country, what we realize is that we have much work to do and we might remember the heart aching, the, uh, the, 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 the crushing sense that Jupiter Hammond had and how he longed for a different society. And on this Juneteenth, as we think and remember uh, this glorious celebration for our black brothers and sisters, uh, especially those living here in Texas, uh, our neighbors, our community members, that we might join with them uh, with loud praises and proclamation, not only for Juneteenth, but as a sign that we are with them, uh, that we join with uh, our community uh, to bring peace, to bring justice, to bring love, and to bring hope, uh, whose image is Jesus Christ for Jupiter Hammond and for ourselves, a belief that this violence uh, these killings, these deaths will not have the last word, but that instead uh, Jesus, our Lord, uh, will help us see how, how we can begin uh, to change uh, the world uh, that is around us. So on this Juneteenth, let us give thanks for the past. 
but also let us hope with one another for a different future.